We'll return with a CBS School Break special after these messages. Introducing Hot Stuff Skipper, Barbie doll's sister. Great shape Barbie sold separately. We girls love clothes that mix up. Hot, right Barbie? Right! Hot Stuff Skipper. Hot pink leotards for a wild workout. Bright ties and sweats. Switch them all about. A mini for dates. Skipper looks great. Hot Stuff! We girls can do anything. Right Barbie? Hot Stuff Skipper doll comes with this bright colored mix and match wardrobe. Barbie doll sold separately. New from Mattel. You, uh, like Swanson dinner? Uh-huh. You like that one? Uh-uh. My brother did. Ah, your brother. Well, then you must like the fish and chips. Nope. Lydia does. Lydia. Your sister? Babysitter. Oh, well, then which dinner do you like? Wait a minute. That's a Swanson breakfast. Your mom let you eat that for dinner? Nope. But Lydia will. Kids really love having dinner with the Swansons. Is there a big difference between Arid, Ban, and Tussie roll on any purse prints? Yes, and no. Tussie's 68 cents less? Big difference. Tussie costs 60 cents less. Big difference. 73 cents less for Tussie. That's some big difference. But there's no big difference in how they work. They all have the same active ingredient to help stop wetness and odor. Tussie. No big difference in how it works. Big difference in what it costs. Here's another solid reason to buy Tussie. Tussie's solid antiperspirant. I'm just a step away from the taste that makes me sick. The Foles has that extra something, the riches. Hey, that's it. The Foles has that extra something, they disappear real quick. All that flavor, all that crunch. I can eat a whole bun. And now, back to the CBS School Break Special. It says that all students have to live on campus for the first two years, and after that they get an apartment in town. What do they say about boyfriends? It says that they have to visit each weekend if they know what's good for them. <laughs> I know what's good for me. I'm looking at this. I'm not going to get in. Oh, well, you'll get in. Why? Just because you got in everywhere you applied? Not that you plan on going to any of them. You'll get in. And if I do, what about us? I don't want to have to go away. So don't. Stay here with me. Rick. I mean it, Laurie. I, I love you. I'm, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. Marry me, Lori. What? Marry me. Rick! I mean, we're always talking about it. Why don't we just do it? Well, where will we live and what about money? We'll work it out. We'll work everything out. Just marry me. All right, I will. You will? I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, today. Today. <laughs> All right, yesterday. <laughs> Uh-oh. What about our parents? They're going to hit the ceiling. Oh. It just depends on how we tell them. Why? Because I love her. Yeah. Well, I... I guess you'll be coming to work for the company. Or attending one of those colleges you've been accepted to. We'll see. Right now, I'm late for work. Well, think about college, Garrick. Or the company. Lori, your father's only asking that you be objective. Were you objective when you got married? You were in love, weren't you? Well, so were we. You'll be throwing away your future, everything we planned for you. And taking on responsibility, someone your age shouldn't have to deal with. Well, you were the same age when you got married. Yes. And do you know how we had to struggle? And what a strain it put on our relationship? We don't care that we have to struggle as long as we can be together. We'll talk about this tomorrow.
why you love me? Absolutely. Mm. Up to now, our consumer economic studies have been focused on theories. We've examined economic trends, political systems evolving out of economic theories. We've examined uh, statistics, graphs, etc. Please move your big head out of the way. <clears throat> but starting today, we'll be taking part in an experiment that will provide practical application to the theories we've been studying. Uh, Mary and Paul, would you pass out these questionnaires, please? Now, how many people in this room plan to get married someday? Fine. Because for the successful completion of this course, this entire class of seniors will be required to get married next Monday. <laughs> Questionnaires, you will be paired off as marriage partners according to uh, common interests, attitudes, etc. All right, quietly. I assume that most of you want your marriages to last. But too many people marry first and then discover they're not compatible. Different views on religion, politics, kids, lifestyles, and all that. The purpose of this experiment is to demonstrate how economic factors affect a marriage. Each couple, based on chosen careers, will be assigned an income. With that income, you'll be required to work out a budget and deal as a married couple with the ups and downs of life. Ups and downs that I, in the role of Providence, <laughs> will introduce into your life. With all due respect, Dr. Wilmer, I don't see how I can honestly take part in this stupid experiment. My family hires people to handle budgets and other such nonsense. What she means, Dr. Wilmer, is that a ruling class pretensions haven't prepared her to do anything for herself. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. If you've nothing to gain from the experiment, April, you'll at least indulge me for the credit you need to graduate. <laughs> He's not all that swift, you know. I have the original copy to him back in his locker before he finished changing. I will love you forever for this, Bobby. I swear I will seriously love you for A simple thank you will do. In fact, I just assume forget the whole thing. It is cheating, you know. Not to mention cheap, underhanded, and low. So what? And copying his answers is no guarantee that you're going to be matched. Don't be ridiculous. Who could be more perfectly compatible than two people who share the same views on everything, including their favorite flavor of ice cream? Besides, what do you see in a guy like Paul Tucker anyway? Oh, Bobby, be serious. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> this person, this seriously kind and wonderful person, has given me the key to the gates of my destiny, <laughs> beyond which I shall be called, among all others, to be Paul Tucker's marriage partner. <laughs> there, till death do us part. Rick and I are getting married. <laughs> For real. No, I can't. I can't believe it. Oh, my God, what did your parents say? Oh, at first they were bouncing off walls. And they just thought we were a couple of kids who didn't know what we were doing. But now they're being kind of supportive. Yeah. I, mean, I guess they realize I can't do anything since I'll be 18 in a couple of months and won't need permission to marry. What do you think of the idea? I think it's a great idea. A wonderful idea. A seriously romantic. I <laughs> uh, don't look at me. I, I don't believe in marriage. But congratulations anyway. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you too, Rick. Oh, and I have your permission to tell everyone, right? Oh, life is getting so serious, I can't stand it. <laughs> your days are numbered.
In other words, you're asking me to waive the computer's results and pair you off anyway? Yes, if it's not too much of a pain. Yeah, you see, Lori's afraid that the computer might make a mistake and we won't be matched in the experiment. You see, we're getting married after graduation. Uh, yes, Diane's been sounding the news all over school. Congratulations. Thanks. Anyway, I thought if we could work together on this project, it might be a help to us later on. Well, all right. But I'll file the results anyway, then, if you want to look at oh, them sometime. Oh, sure. That'd be great. Thanks a lot, Dr. Lori. Thank you. Thank you. This is the happiest day of my life. Look at him, Lori. Isn't he seriously magnificent human being? Can you imagine working out a budget with him, Lori? All right. Rick and Lori. <laughs> Dr. Wilmer, it's obvious that your stupid computer made a ridiculous mistake. And I just want everyone to know that I would never go along with this stupid experiment unless I were desperate for the stupid credit. And I thank God that in my real life, such a stupid thing can never happen. For once, I must agree with it, Dr. Wilmer. There must be a mistake. Thank you. This girl represents everything that I despise in a person. Hey. She's a pompous, shallow, pretentious, <laughs> spoiled... All right, that's enough. Now, there's no mistake. You're matched. Take your seats, please. Now, since we've more women than men in this class... I'm dying. The computer I swear, I'm seriously dying. ...with these random situations. Mary? Your husband is in a mental hospital. Good. You have no skills, you have three children, and you're on welfare. Thanks, Dr. Wilmer. You're a real sweetheart. Jane, your husband, a wealthy man, has run off with the maid. All right. <laughs> Dr. Wilmer, could I have the husband in the mental institution? <laughs> to be your simulated spouse. To pursue those activities assigned by the instructor for the duration of this course. To honor and respect the spouse from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, and in health, in class time and homework till the end of this experiment. Then, by the power invested in me as your instructor, I declare you simulated husbands and wives. Congratulations. Return with a CBS School Break special after these messages. Wake up, guys. We got work to do. We do. Well, I've got to get out the morning edition. And we've got to get out the breakfast edition. What's it say? Snap, crackle, pop. What else? Snap, it's the snappiest sound to do. You gotta get cracking when crackle comes through. There's no stopping once pop is popping through. Snap, it's the snappiest sound to do. Crackle, pop, talking just to you. Sounds good. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Mm. Good work, guys. When it comes to breakfast, we deliver. <laughs> Sugar free jello gelatin, what are you up to now? We grab an apple and give it zing. We peel an orange and have a fling. We're up to something and it should be understood. Sugar free jello gelatin, we're up to something good. We turn a carrot into a treat. We're low in calories, we got NutraSweet. We're up to something and that something is good. Look for our recipe. He's in magazine. Sugar free jello gelatin. We're up to something good. I'm amazed that you're telling me that this is sugarless gum. It tastes so good. It tastes like regular bubble gum. Great bubble gum. It's soft, it's full of flavor, and it stays that way for a long time. A bubble gum that'll bring you over to sugarless gum. Four out of five dentists surveyed recommend sugarless gum for their patients who chew gum. I think new Trident Sugarless Bubble Gum is a really good, juicy, flavorful gum. Taste the one that'll bring you over to Sugarless Gum. Ooh, hi. 
Mmm, <laughs> someone special coming for dinner? I think he met at our wedding. Lucky guy, charbroiled steak with buttered green beans. And noodles. With sour cream and chive sauce. Love it. Taste the richness of Lipton noodles and sauce. Sauce is so creamy, so delicately seasoned. Watch where the fork goes first. Mmm. Will you marry me? Again? Mm-hmm. Taste the richness of Lipton noodles and sauce. So delicious. Watch where your fork goes first. And now, back to the CBS School Break Special. furniture for my mom and stuff, I think, and you're going to have to ask yours too, okay? Ben, we need insurance, utility bills, and income after taxes. Right. Rick, where are you? What? What? we got to get this done. I don't want to be here all afternoon. Are you going to help me? Tell me, Ocean, what are my assets and liabilities? be a good idea if we got together this weekend just in the evenings to go over our budget maybe we could eat out saturday and then go over to my room i mean my house saturday's no good that's the night i go cruising the boulevard all right then sunday dinner a movie then back to my house <laughs> no good i work out all day sunday and sunday night's my big arcade night besides me and eight well, that works out fine then saturday we'll cruise the boulevard lift weight sunday then off to the arcade hey sullivan Listen, we're going to have to spend some time together so we can organize our lives for Walmart. My life's already organized. If it's absolutely necessary that you contact me, call my home and leave a message with the cleaning lady. <laughs> Paul? Uh, I'm going to be an architect. Fine, I'll start you at 15000 a year. Diane, how about you? Can I stay home and bear Paul's children? <laughs> No, there'll be no children from these relationships. Any couple breaking that rule loses 15 points off their final grade. Oh. oh, Diane, I'm afraid you'll have to choose a career. All right, then. I'll go into interior decorating. I figure I can start at a serious 18000 a year. Well, not right away. I mean, you'll have to start in some furniture store. Or you could freelance, but it takes time to build a reputation. I'll allow you 14000 April. I'm going to be the editor of a fashion magazine. I expect a starting salary somewhere in the neighborhood of $50,000. Now, hold on. You're going to have to start at least as a copy editor and work your way up. Not if my father owns the magazine. $50,000. In that case... I'll just go to law school after college and dedicate myself to defending the rights of the poor and downtrodden. Not much money in it, but I don't need much. And it's something I've always dreamed of doing. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Garrick? Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Wilmer. We haven't quite figured it out yet. Peter? Why didn't you give Walmart the income figures? Did you hear the figures they were calling out? Right. Your full-time salary plus what I might make part-time only comes to about... I'm sorry, I guess I was just embarrassed. These are beautiful, Mom. Here's the guest list. Add anyone you like. All these people? Mom, I don't even know some of the people on this list. You have to be diplomatic when it comes to these things, Lori. And listen, when your father gets back, I think we should take a ride into town and start having you fitted for a dress. Um, I wanted to see Rick today. Look, Lori, there's lots to do and very little time left. Please try to cooperate. Where's Daddy anyway? Out looking at halls for the reception. Lori, do you mind if I start moving your stuff into the basement so I can start moving my stuff into your, I mean, my room? You know, I get the feeling you people can't wait to get rid of me. 
Put Lori's books back where you found them and stay out of her room. Look, Lori, no one is trying to get rid of you. It's like all this stuff is happening. Guest list, reception halls, wedding gowns. Well, what did you expect? I mean, your father and I are only trying to help. I think you should appreciate that instead of being critical of our efforts. I just want to finish this one up, Lou. Besides, I can use the overtime if it's okay with you. Sure, just don't burn yourself out, kid. I lose you. I'm up the creek. All right. Good night. Um, next stop is fish. You know, I can't believe how expensive all this stuff is. And we're just shopping for two people. Think of what our parents have to go through each week. You know, if Juan was trying to scare us with this assignment... It's working. Will you come on? This is so humiliating. I feel like somebody's housekeeper. Look, will you come off it? I mean, that kind of stuff probably plays real well with, with jerks like Tucker. But all it does for me is make you look like a twin. All right, listen, I'm sorry. Maybe your life isn't about this, but we're stuck together on this assignment, and this is the last stop. So why don't we clench our teeth, finish the week shopping, get it tallied, give the numbers to Wilmer, and get away from here and each other. Suit yourself. Where are you going? I'm going to look at some squid. I think we should forget about the fresh fish, Rick. It's too expensive. It's brain food, Lori. It's really good for you. Well, then we'll have to cut back on something else. Like what? Like meat. Bread, potatoes. All right, all right. Scratch the fresh fish. Hey. Let's get this. That is gross, Paul. That is seriously gross. I wouldn't eat fish unless there was a gun at my head. Yeah, but I could have it stuffed and mounted in my den. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a place to hide this ridiculous cereal. What for? Because, Paul, I have this thing about buying cereal with cartoons on the but box. But that Sergeant Quack, he's terrific. I'm sure he's terrific, Paul, but I have this thing about it. This very serious thing. I tell you, you're lucky to get this place for cheap. There's nothing in the area this cheap anymore. Don't worry. Little yard work, this place will look like a million bucks. What about closets? There's one in the bedroom. Like I said, this is really a single. But I had couples here. Just getting started types like you kids. Take a look around. Talk it over. I'll wait next door. some pain. We can keep looking, Laura. For the money, this is the best thing we've seen all week. No, oh, this is, this is it. This is what we can afford. Are you crying? What? architect but does he want to build monuments to the glory of mankind no <laughs> he wants to design multi-level parking lots when they <laughs> rationed out the imagination this man was severely shortchanged. did you ever get him over to your house yes and after he ate everything in sight he fell asleep in front of the tv i swear i am beginning to think that life is nothing more than a series of serious disappointments that cleaning lady gave me your message 
I guess I could spare some time to go over our investment. If you really think it's necessary. Great. Well, come on. Uh, why don't you sit down for a little while? long way, don't you think? We got a problem, Rick. Warmer rejected our budget. What for? Well, he won't allow only $20 a month savings. He says that if I get laid off, or if things slow down at the marina and you get laid off, we're going to need more than that to pull through. So we have to come up with $60 from somewhere. Well, tell Warmer we'll borrow the money from Bobby and April. They're rolling it. <laughs> sure, no problem. We'll just get a small lead off. <laughs> you serious, Rick? I am serious. If Walmart wants to hallucinate, let him hallucinate something cheerful. Like, uh, what would inheriting a fortune do to our budget? Well, we're not inheriting a fortune. <sighs> Tell Walmart we'll fast one week a month. That's $60. Would you stop it? This is our life you're joking about. It has nothing to do with our life. It's a lousy school assignment. What are you getting so bent out of shape for? Yeah, Laurie. You're not going to have Walmart haunting you after you're married. Rick. Well, maybe I take everything so seriously, but you don't even seem to care at all. And that hurts. Well, it hurts me to see you worrying over so much, Laura. Look, let's just worry about being happy today and, and let tomorrow take care of itself. Will it? Of course it will. Here, dear. What's this? Open it. It's beautiful. But, but what? It must have cost you a fortune. A little savings and some overtime money. But don't you think... Shh. <laughs> we'll return with a CBS School Break special after these messages. I wonder why they did it. Did what? Changed the sunlight name to Wesson. Well, sunlight has always come from Wesson. Oh, I thought it came from sunflower seeds. Still does. That's why all natural Wesson sunflower seed oil is lower in saturated fats than the leading oils with no cholesterol. Hmm, drip free pouring. Oops. And a new plastic bottle. Mm. Tastes great. Well, they changed the name, not the oil. All natural Wesson sunflower seed oil. Another great oil from Wesson. We're the really made me angry. They said that the bargain brand was as good as Johnson's baby shampoo, so I bought it. Mm -hmm. And it hurt Katie's eyes terribly. It was traumatic. It made her cry, and it made me want to cry, too. They may say baby shampoo, but many bargain brands sting, irritate eyes. Only Johnson says no more tears. It's really true. Johnson's is no more tears. I learned my lesson. I'll never buy anything but Johnson's again. As a little girl, calcium was important for growing bones. Through your teens, calcium helped make bones strong. As a woman, bones still need calcium to stay healthy. If you don't drink enough milk, a prime source is gone. Add Caltrate to your diet. Caltrate, with nature's purest, most concentrated form of calcium. More pure calcium per tablet than a half quart of milk without the calories. Caltrate and Caltrate plus vitamin D. Calcium for healthy bones. McDonald's hot fries, dressing up, dressing down, moving your feet, finding new ways to unwind. Hot, rock on your soul, you're feeling the beat, tap into the taste of the time. So hot, feet on the fly, kicking so high, gonna chill out with those hot, hot fries. It's a good time. Hot, hot, for the great taste. The CBS School Break Special will return. This is CBS. Glory. 
For most athletes, the years of fame are short-lived. Memories remain, but new realities must be faced. What happens then? When the cheering stops, that's the subject of a special Channel 2 news report. I'm Jim Hill. As an ex-athlete, I know what it's like to make a new career. But how do other former athletes adjust to new careers out of the limelight? Watch my report. Is the wallpaper guaranteed? It's guaranteed. Is the paint guaranteed? It's guaranteed. Is the paint guaranteed to go with the wallpaper? Guaranteed. Now, what about the carpet? It's guaranteed. To go with the wallpaper? Guaranteed. And the paint? Guaranteed. Now, about the mini blinds? They're guaranteed. To go with the wallpaper, the paint, and the carpet? Guaranteed. Oh. At Standard Brands, we not only guarantee our products, we also guarantee that you'll like the results. Can I get this guarantee anywhere else? No guarantee. Oh. Standard Brands. When it comes to guarantees, we set the standard. Outrageous Sunwear on two on the town tonight at seven. Will this big meeting of the Bob's Big Boy Board please come to order? Over the years, we've made some big changes. Bigger restaurants, bigger menus, and bigger things to come. But one big thing may not fit this big new big boy image. One big thing may have to go. Big boy. That's big. Too big. Big question, huh? Big boy, will he stay or go? Boy, did I save money. I got the super saver. So? I'm flying the Dilly Deluxe. Big deal! I got the double whammy. Enough double whammy. confusion. AirCal makes saving easy with frugal fares. $49 each way to the Bay Area and Reno. $79 each way to Portland and Seattle. Call AirCal Single Call Service now for AirCal Sprugal Fares. AirCal, we make flying easy. Pan tastes so peanutty because it's made from the best quality peanuts in the world. Hey, peanut butter, any time they can, only if it's Peter Pan. We're Beatrice. Band together. In a much closer world, there's so much more to do. With so many people, so much closer to you. When you feel fresh, close feels better. So band together. Band together with Van Roll-On. Fight odor and wetness all day with Van, the number one selling roll-on. When you feel fresh, close feels better. So band together. And now, back to the CBS School Break Special. What are you selling? Curtains for our new kitchen. It came this morning. It's from the college. <laughs> They've accepted me. I'm going to college. Congratulations. Can you and Garrick work it out? Well, we only have a month-to-month -month lease on the apartment. If he can get a job up at the college by September, I mean, yeah, I'm sure we can work it out. With a degree, I can get a great job. Well, listen, I'm still committed to paying your tuition, and uh, maybe I can help subsidize your rent if you, if you live off campus. Who's that? Someone who loves you. Yeah, that could be anybody. Oh. Hmm. What's with you? Did you win the lottery or something? This is good. I've been accepted to college. If you could get a job up there, I could go. 
And then in four years, I could get a great job. My father said he'd pay my tuition and he'd even help with our rent. I don't know how I feel about your father or anybody paying our rent. It's no big deal. I mean, we could pay him back if it'll make you feel any better. Yeah. And besides, it might not be so easy getting a job as a boat mechanic where no one knows me. Well, would you go up there and look? Would you at least check it out? Let me think about it, okay? Can't you just say yes? Just like that? Say yes, I'll go upstate and look for a job? Just like that. The place looks really great. What are you doing here? I thought you were upstate. Yeah. I was. I'm back. It's like I thought, Laura. There's no work for me up there. Did you really try? Yes, I tried. There are only two marinas in the whole town. Neither is looking for a mechanic. Did you show them Lou's recommendation? really isn't any point. That's some diner where I stopped to have lunch. People were telling me how tight it was all over the area. And what does come and goes to the local people. Look, it won't be that bad. At least if you go to school around here, we won't be so far away from people we know. Going to that college could change the quality of our future, Rick. Laura, do you want me to go up there with no job and live off your father for four years? Look, this is our situation. For the moment, our home. You're making me feel like it's not good enough for you, that I'm not good enough I'm for you. I'm not saying that. Then why, why can't we just be thankful for what we have and go on with being happy? You can't live from week to week. I mean, you have to deal with realities and stop walking around with your head in the clouds. Now, I want you to apply these fake cards to the major breadwinner in your relationship and see how it affects your budget. Figures. Mary Judson, what does your card say? Well, Dr. Romer, I, I won the lottery. $100,000 a year for life. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Tucker. The card says I've been put out of work by a strike. But I'm going to be an architect, Dr. Warmer. Well, let's say you're bearing the effects of a construction strike. Well, we're all right. I got enough saved up, and Diane Seller can carry us through. So, uh, everything should come out about the same. Except I'll be home a lot more. Dr. Walmer, why can't the card apply to my job so I can stay home? Who ever heard of an interior decorator going out on strike? <laughs> April? This card suggests that I was fired for incompetency. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Wilmer, I can't go along with that stupid fantasy. First of all, I'm anything but incompetent. And secondly, my father owns the magazine, so it's impossible for me to get fired. April, the situation is hypothetical. What would happen if your father fired you? My mother would divorce him. <laughs> Garrick? Garrick? Well, the card says I got laid off. Going over our budget, considering what little we have saved, unemployment doesn't come too much. We'd actually be better off. I don't understand. Because I'd start robbing banks. <laughs> I can make more money tax-free in a day robbing banks than all year at my job, and that includes overtime. Come on, Garrick, be serious. I am being serious, Dr. Walmer. You imagine a fate that wiped us out. So I'm imagining myself a Jesse James. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, do you expect to gain anything from this experiment? Why didn't you imagine something positive? Like business picking up, which is just as likely instead of all this negative stuff. With a few exceptions, these cards were designed to test your budget under realistic conditions. Look, 
You started this experiment by asking how many of us plan to get married. Why didn't you ask how many of us plan to work for the Treasury Department? There are statistics, Mr. Hamilton, which indicate economic factors can make or break a marriage. Now, that may be an unpleasant reality, but it's a reality all the same. If you're trying to get me to buy into this reality, I'll take my failing grade right now! People exchange vows of love when they're married, not bank statements. If they love each other, they can be as poor as beggars and still stay together. If they don't love each other, it won't matter how much money they have. Return with a CBS School Break special after these messages. Dinner ready? What do I make? Not plain hamburger again. <laughs> Somebody order a pizza bake? A, a pizza, pizza bake? bake? It's a new hamburger helper flavor you make a new way in the oven. Just top the easy bake crust with hamburger and our pizza sauce and pop in the oven. Ready for a pizza bake? Sure tastes great. It was so easy to make. Now another piece of pizza bake? Sure. Hamburger helper, helped her hamburger, helped her make a great meal. Land shark. The mighty land shark will have Mechanic for lunch. Yikes! And He-Man for dessert. Land shark vehicle, Skeletor, Mechanic, and He-Man figures each sold separately. Help! Help! Land shark, land shark. Help! He-Man! Land shark, land shark. Abraham, look, Joe, land shark. Land shark. Land Shark Vehicle, new from the Masters of the Universe collection, not for use with some figures. Action figures each sold separately. From Mattel. And now, back to the CBS School Break Special. Coming in to dinner? I'm not hungry. Is there anything wrong? Everything. I don't know what's happening. It's like ever since Rick and I started planning our life together, it seems like all we do is argue. About what? I don't know. About everything. It's like all this stuff keeps getting in our way. All right, if you have any doubts, then I think you should consider... No. Well, or at least postpone it. No! I love him, and I won't. If you really love him, then be honest with him now and save him from something that could be... No! I don't want to hear it! It would kill him. It would kill me. I don't want to hear it. because of Wilmer's stupid course. As long as I kept that in mind, I was able to cope. But it hasn't been... So bad? ...as disgusting as I thought it would be. <laughs> well, don't worry. Next year, you'll be going to some private, exclusive college, and you won't have to associate with the likes of me. If you really want to know the truth, I'd rather go to nursing school. But my parents won't hear it. To them, a nurse is just a glorified name. We're very concerned with appearances, you see. Is that why you hang out with Paul Tucker? I wouldn't dare be seen with anyone less perfect looking. Not 
that it's any of your business, of course. Of course. But I understand. Don't humor me, D'Angelo. I do understand. People who have a lot have a lot to lose. Or they think they do. So my heart goes out to you, April. What do you mean your heart goes out to me? Because I think that behind that cool, tough exterior is a pretty special person wanting to get out. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank you. Listen, you want to go to a movie with me Saturday night? <laughs> don't push your luck, D'Angelo. Why would I want to be seen at the movies with you? I don't know. Just for laughs. Laughs? Sure. Come on, April. And who knows? You might find out you've got nothing to protect after all. Most of you did very well, although some of you did file for bankruptcy. But our objective was to manage our incomes under various circumstances and not turn them into fortunes. And uh, you see Garrick given this, will you? We've had? I think you did all right for what you had. In real life, you'd probably get by. And, of course, our second objective was to underline how economic factors affect relationships. I mean, there were things you could only learn about your partner through working out money problems as a team. And since only one asked for a divorce, a request that automatically results in failure. Oh. <laughs> Condition of the experiment I decided to keep to myself. Since there was only the one request, I can only assume that the rest of you managed to work your problems through. So give yourself a hand. I was hoping we would have so much in common that we would seriously connect on so many different levels. Yeah? Yes. But I was mistaken. I was seriously mistaken and disappointed. I mean, you're a great-looking guy, Paul, but that's it. So? So, I think it's a shame that you have nothing to offer but serious good looks and a great body. Yeah, I see your point. <clears throat> Listen, I haven't heard you get to the arcade. You got anything else you want to say? Yes. How about one more game of Zort? Okay. <laughs> I could stand not being with you every day. But I don't want to get married, Rick. Please try to understand. Understand what? Is it the money? Well, I'd make a ton of money selling insurance for my father. I don't care about the money, Rick. It's because of the college. Then what? What is it? We're different people. I mean, we see life in different ways. You know what you want where and how you want to live and you're happy that way and i love you that way and i wouldn't want you to change that but one of us would have to because i am not so sure of any of those things myself what are we going to do i mean i still love you when you say you still love me i do then what are we going to do Maybe if we get a little distance from each other and then see how we feel. 
I mean, I'll go to college. I'll write you every day. And in a year when we oh, see each other... Oh, come on, Laura. We'll split apart. You'll find someone else. Some college guy. They'll be over. You might meet somebody else, too. I don't want somebody, Laura. All I ever wanted was you. Rick, please. Listen, I want to um, thank you for the passing grade. Oh, well, it's a fair grade. I wasn't handing out any favors. <laughs> yeah, the way I act in class. I'd uh, like to apologize, if it's okay. It's forgotten. And maybe your point was well taken. But I teach an economics course here. If the um, emphasis on economics is causing confusion about the nature of relationships, well, that's something I'll have to think about over the summer. I was sorry to hear that you and Laurie had called up your wedding plans. I guess if that's what you've decided, it, it's for the best. Yeah, well, that's something I'll be thinking about over the summer. by to say have a good time in Montreal. Well, it's relative. I'm not expecting it to be a total party. You send me a postcard? Yeah, I'll, I'll write you every day. Well, don't be disappointed if I don't answer right away. I'm off to a trip myself. You know, discover America and all. <laughs> Got some thinking to do. See, Lou wants to uh, take me on as a partner. Yeah, my father's really pushing for engineering school, you know, so I can learn how to design engines and stuff. <laughs> Maybe I can do both, you know? I don't know. Anyway... I'm gonna miss you, Laurie. from Dr. Warmer. Computer says that uh, we're highly compatible. We would have been marriage partners. I don't understand. Well, what do machines know about that stuff, huh? I will see you when I get back, won't I? Yeah. Now, these messages. 
slip into something sexy with Two on the Town, the newest slant in sunglasses. You would definitely see something like this on Melrose. Ch -ch -ch Band Rock's same sex look has jumped from the stage to the street. Don't you wanna go? <laughs> and watch Capitol's Constance Towers switch from glamour to politics. Ed Marinaro joins Melody Rogers on Two on the Town, tonight at 7.30 on Channel 2. Lucky peels back prices. Get the most famous products at lower prices than any other time of year. Look for refreshing ocean spray, 100% grapefruit juice and pink grapefruit juice cocktail. 48-ounce bottles, now key by price, only $159. Stock up on ocean spray cranberry drinks. Choose from cran apple, cran grape, and cran raspberry at key by savings, just $179. Lucky's National Brands event is bursting with so many great savings, the time to stock up is now. This is CBS.